So people are always asking me why why I do it still. You know, why do I do what I do? Why do I why do I hunt fish and and trap, especially trap? Because you know nowadays there's not much money in trapping. You know, you're you're you're, uh, you're lucky enough to break even. Um, I like to say if you're doing it right, you break even and have a bit of pocket change at the end of the year. But I mean, back in the 1970s, uh, a fisher was 300 bucks. Um, and a female, I mean, maybe even more. Females have slightly better fur, but you know, nowadays, I mean, if, if you adjust that three hundred dollars in nineteen seventies for today's inflation, you know, you'd be you'd be looking at buying, you know, taking two or three fisher to buy a car. Um, nowadays, well, it might not be that good of a car, but you know, you know, you know, if you get the point. Um, but now, uh, I mean, fur prices have gone down. Fisher, you're looking at anywhere between 30 and 40 bucks each beaver are around the same because uh we we harvest and use and share and uh and sell different parts of them and uh and i'm also uh i'm also looking into selling uh supplying a certain restaurant with meat from beaver right now um people ask you know why do you do it and it's it's very very difficult to explain that which is part of the reason why i'm making these videos is is just to show that uh you know, that show the reasons why I do it, which is something you almost have to experience. You can't just uh, you can't just just say, "Well, this is why I do it," and have people understand. It's not it's not a thing you can do. You know, I've lived this lifestyle for 20 years now, or or more. You know, I was I was born in an area that allowed that, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's very difficult to explain. It's something you have to experience. So. That's why I'd like to start taking taking you guys along on my uh, my little uh, adventures. Um, you know, it's it's first of all, if I can if I can break it down into a couple of things, it's first of all, it's a good way of living. It's uh, you know, it's hard work, a lot of it, and uh, you know, it's it's a good challenge. You uh, you know, I, I think about it at night, think about different ways of doing things more efficiently, better, um, and yet at the same time, you're purposely handicapping yourself because you're using, you know, hand tools, you know, you're, you're not just, just using machinery, you're not using cutting edge technology, you're using machinery and, or you're, sorry, you're using tools and techniques that have been around for, for hundreds and hundreds of years. You know, we still use techniques that the natives, uh, the original people on this land were uh, using and uh, were, were implementing, you know, before, before us guys ever landed here. Um, so, you know, it's it's the perfect blend of modern and uh, and, and basically primitive techniques. Even um, of course, we use steel and and and, uh, and internal combustion engines. And but really, a lot of the work we do is manpower. You know, you can't you can get a skinning machine. I don't have one, but you could you could you, you just skin beaver by hand. You skin animals by hand. So a lot of it is is the old school, uh, just, just just basic blood, sweat, and tears and work. And it's very very rewarding to do that. So, so explaining this this kind of thing to people who, and the average person, let's face it, you know, they're they're sitting behind a TV, they're they're playing video games. Your kids are, I'm probably sounding really old and, and curmudgeony here, but but kids just don't seem to have the interest in the outdoors that they uh, that they once did. Um, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of reasons why I do it. Heritage. Um, I mean, you know, when the first settlers uh, here after the natives, they they you know Canada was was founded on beaver. Beaver trapping was huge. They would ship the pelts back to, uh, back to Europe. And, uh, yeah. So, so as for trapping, I mean, fishing, hunting, it's exhilarating hunting for the meat and the challenge. And, uh, you know, yeah, we use guns. I, I like a bow for a bunch of it. Um, shotgunning for ducks, each, each individual, uh, each individual thing, um, or animal that you hunt has its own, intricacies and and things to learn it's just a big challenge and and you have to always constantly 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 be learning because you know the second you think you know something um an animal will show you that you actually know jack squat so there's there's so much to it and and my hope for this videos or uh, for these videos is to uh to shed a bit of light on that and maybe you know maybe even um encourage some people to uh to do this kind of thing and pick up this uh you know, even in a, even even in small capacity, you know, you live in a city. Say there's no there's no uh, opportunities for you. 
well, that's fine, you know, but there's, there's, there's water somewhere, you know. Um, it doesn't matter how big a fish you're catching, you're, you're out trying to do it, you know, and if you end up with something on the table at the end of it, that's, that's, that's a huge benefit. But, you know, I guess all I'm saying is um, with these videos, hopefully I can show a little bit of it, I can ex uh, what I do, I can explain why I do what I do, and you can get a feeling for that and feeling for the excitement that comes from, uh, from, from all these activities. And, uh, yeah, maybe even encourage people to, to go out and, you know, try something you haven't done before, to give fishing a try, you know. Um, drive somewhere and, uh, and go hunting. Take a gun course, anything, whatever you could do to get out and experience the outdoors. Because if life, life has a way of passing you by, and if you don't just go and, 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 and grab these opportunities and do these things, you know, regret is all, always the worst when you can't do anything about it. So the last thing I want to be doing is laying on my deathbed and saying, you know what, I wish I'd have, God, I wish I'd done more. I wish I'd, uh, you know, I would have really loved to go on an elk hunt or I would have loved to do this or do that. So I'm just giving it as hard as I can now with, with what I have and what's around me. And, um, yeah, that's, that's the whole, uh, that's the whole ticket for me. So yeah, hopefully these videos, uh, you know, um, hopefully they're they're first of all entertaining. Hopefully you get a little something out of them, and more importantly, hopefully you figure out uh, through them why I do what I do and uh, and um, the true reward that comes from from these activities. So follow along and uh, yeah, leave comments, subscribe. I don't really care too much about all that stuff, but if you find it exciting, um, subscribe, hit the like button. I guess that's what you're supposed to say. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, in any event, uh, please, please tag along, and uh, I'll do my best to, uh, to make some good videos. So I'll catch you guys later.